When surrounded by fish this fresh, it's impossible not to eat some. Wow. But I need to curb my appetite because I need to leave room for the mother of all seafood dishes. It's called chipino, and there's nothing little about it. Chipino is basically a stew of all the best local seafood in one bowl. Here's how some people think it started. San Francisco is a port town. Sure, it's had its gold miners, it's had its hippies, but it's always remained a hub for the seafood industry. And when fishermen made daily trips to the Outer Bay, they needed something quick to eat. And the only thing they had was their catch. And so, they created a hearty, but very delicious dish. Spain has paella, New Orleans has gumbo, New England has clam chowder. San Francisco has chipino. Now look what we have here. We have the ingredients for an awesome chipino. We got shrimp, we got the live crab, we got mussels, we got clams, we got calamari, we have diver scallops. You put this into a chipino sauce and you have a great chipino. This is a local California king salmon. You so you've been in the gym lately? Can you handle that? Can you tell? Come on. Look at those guns. Yeah, okay, you want to hold a salmon, right? You put three of your fingers in the gill, the other one has to curl around. This is the real deal. This is a real wild salmon. Can I please, please, please just get a little piece to take with me? That's not a problem. I'd be happy to set you up with a piece to take home. I've got clams, I've got mussels, I've got prawns, I've even got crabs. I probably shouldn't say that too loud. We've got the ingredients. Now get ready to be blown away by the dish. Coming up. Oh my god, you said seafood stew. This is like, this is like a tower. Mm. Just like fatty shrimpy goodness. And later. I came to San Francisco in search of incredible meat. So what am I doing here? Pork, chicken, beef? Get ready, there's a new meat in town. Bay is one of the country's great mixture of cultures. First there were the natives, then the Spanish Californians, then European settlers. Soon the Chinese came from across the Pacific. And when the gold rush hit, it attracted Americans hungry for wealth. And when the gold ran out, they were just hungry. Very hungry. There's meat in that water, and I got a rule which says that when I'm on the coast, I eat as much seafood as possible. And it turns out San Francisco has got just the dish. We're at the Woodhouse Fish Company. When you walk in, you might not notice the 20-foot squid hanging above the door, the Picasso scribble on the wall, and it might take you a while to realize that the painting is actually a TV playing video of the bay. It's all intended to evoke that feeling of being out there on the wharf. But what really makes you feel like you're out on the ocean? The smell of the food. Chipino is the true San Francisco treat, not rice -aroni. And a lot of folks here think John Hernsberger serves the best one in town. I've got the mother load here. I've got the freshest, most awesome seafood that California can't produce. Dungeness crab. Beautiful. Prawn. Scallops. Green lips. We got clams. We got mussels, and I want you to tell me what this little surprise is. Oh, beautiful. Ah, California sea bass, huh? California sea bass. Now it's up to you to turn all this into a heaping, towering bowl of incredible chipino, and I want you to tell me how it's done. Fantastic, let's do it. So we got the fresh prawns, head on. Yeah. It's important to keep the heads on. That's where all the flavor I is. I totally agree. A lot of people yeah. don't like the head. Well, that's, that's their wrong. loss. It yeah. is their loss. My game. Hop on in. You know, if I can fillet a Petrali sole, I can do this. Absolutely. Boy, these are nice. I mean, these are big. Not 24 hours ago, they had no clue that <laughs> a day later they'd all be in a big stew You bar. know, this is a glorious end. Now we do our base. Now we make the base. And then we bring them together. Correct. And then I eat. Yep. Okay, we're getting closer. A little oil, some fresh chopped garlic. That's really important. Deglaze it with some white wine. Okay. Boy, that already 
That already yeah. smells amazing. Yeah, it's that fresh garlic. Garlic and wine. Yeah. We're going to put the clams in. Uh-huh. Then we'll cover those when they just start to open. Then we'll put the tomato sauce on it. I'm guessing your first bowl of chipino was not your best. You, you screwed it up once or twice, mm. maybe? I'm, I'm sure I did, but that was so long ago. That was so ago. long ago. Yeah. It's one of those things, the more you do it, the better you get. Correct. Make sure you get fresh ingredients. Then we're going to add some uh, mussels in. We'll add the green lips. And we'll add some uh, scallops in. I'm getting all this incredible waft of incredible smell coming off this chipino. And I'm, I'm doing my best not to drool in your kitchen. Something that's very important that's going on with Chipino is umami, the so-called fifth taste, the taste of protein. And here's a secret. When you mix different meats, you mix those proteins, the umami gets magnified. So we're mixing crab, we're mixing sea bass. This all comes together and bang, it is what's called an umami bomb. Along with the shrimp. Yeah, there's our little friends. Look at that. Pour that on top. It's like they're just basking in the warmth. Exactly. You know where I'm going first? Remember our little friend here with the head still on? Mm. Just like fatty shrimpy goodness in there. That is that is awesome. No, no, what here. do you think you're doing? Uh, this I, is mine. What do you think I, you're doing? I got a quality control. I gotta try a little bit. Mm. Wow. Also that's, awesome. That's loving. This bowl right here, only in San Francisco. You've got the ocean, you've got 19th century Italian fishermen, white wine from Napa, local tomatoes. This man right here, John Hertzberger, comes together all in this. It's beautiful. I love it. Coming up.